Alright, welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Adventure. And, I'm sorry, I forgot to update the video yesterday with the next part. So you guys get three videos today. And Kirby gets a lollipop. Get it. There we go. And now we're hyper. Yep. Hmm. I'm kind of glad that, like, this Let's Play is kind of going fast, because I'm ready to get started on my next one. I think I'm going to try a new game. I think it might be... Oh, crap. It ran out already. I think it might be Mother 3. I mean, everybody's, like, talking about it. That's like the toast of the gaming world. And I'm going to be the butter on it. Awesome. Or I want to do a Mother game. Or I'll either do Bomberman or something. Something like that. I don't know what I should do. And I don't know how to get down there, and I don't really want to, because I know there's nothing secret at this level, so I don't really see the point. I'll just only get hurt. <sighs> I think we're gonna need this later. Well, let's go. Oh, look, it's the sword power up there. I don't feel like getting them, though. Oh, come on! We just fought you, like, three levels ago! Why do they even implant him in this game? Oh, well. I can barely beat these guys with just a rock, though. This is like pure luck right now. I mean, like, I wouldn't even be using the rock like this. Oh, never mind. There goes my luck. I think I'm gonna try to use it again. When you're in rock form, like, like in Super Smash Brothers, you're invincible. Utterly. I think I could beat these guys on my first try this time. Normally, I'd lose against them, like, twice. Alright, I beat them! With only one health to spare, and I'm probably going to die once I walk out here. Exactly. And I'm horrible. But you know what? I really don't care. Because I'm awesome. See, why do, why do the bird appear where, like, I can die, and, like, the next time I come around, he appears, like, five spaces away from me? Jerk. I swear, like, the people who made this game, like, made this game, like, exclusively hard. For, like, people who, like, don't want it to be hard. But the people who do expect it to be hard, like, they're like, it's easy. Oh, well. I think that's, like, mind over matter. I'm gonna just run through this. If I get hurt by one of these things, I really don't care. If this was, like, Kirby Dreamland 1, it would take, like, three health away from us. Ah! Ouch. I was hoping I could make through all three of them. Oh, well. Good thing we beat the level, though. I was running out of health. So, yeah. I previously watched all of Chugga Conroy's whole Earthbound Let's Play. He sound he like sounds exactly the same. And like I realized that uh he had the um he's doing it all by his NES, not by an emulator. I think that's kinda cool. But I would never do this by SNES though, because the game would be freeze and I'd have to blow in the cartridge a million times. Ouch. Damn it. Die. That is very useful. I didn't even know they still sell Earthbound cartridges. Because I remember when I had an N64, when I was still new, I, like, was looking around for, like, an um, Earthbound game because, like, I just got done playing Super Smash Brothers. This was, like, the greatest thing ever. And then I went to character profiles, and I seen this, and it said Earthbound or Mother 2. And I was like, hey, Funko Land! It used to be called Funko Land, now it's called GameStop, but I was like, I want to go to Funko Land and see if there's going to be, um, Earthbound there. I went there and they were like, oh, we don't sell this game called Earthbound. So that game must have been very exclusive for its time. When they say the game came out in 1996? No, 1994 maybe. I don't remember when it came out. I just know that but back then I was like a little boy and I was awesome. Well, around the time I was looking for it, it'd be like 1999 or something like that. I just realized Super Smash Bros. Melee came out two years right after um Super Smash Bros. 1. And that game was like ten times better than Super Smash Bros. 1. <laughs> but we get um Super Smash Bros. Brawl ten years later. I think there's something over here. I'm going to go back. We get Super Smash Bros. Brawl ten years later after Melee's greatness. And that game doesn't even measure up in how good it um as, as good as Melee did. Personally, I don't like Melee. I mean, I don't like Brawl. I think the presentation's off, and, like, they give you too many characters in the beginning. And, like, the online mode was just, like, implanted in there, just so they could say they have online. They could have done so much more like they did with Mario Kart. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm invincible, for 
pretty much. After I got hit by that one guy. Uh, they really need to make another Kid Icarus game, personally. Wow, he can block my beam attacks. Cool. See, that's why the night guys are dangerous. And I can't keep a power for less than three seconds. I suck. Die. Kabu. Alright. See, this puzzle is easy. It's pretty simple, actually. You hit that down, and you go all the way to the bottom. Hit that one. And then you go to the top, get that one, and now you got an extra life. I don't know why I say it's simple, but I think it's simple. I don't know what's happening. Oh, I gotta climb up a ladder. Climb, Kirby, climb! What's the point of climbing if I have the ability to fly? Oh, give me this health. Because now we're finna fight the boss. Boss time! Whee! Give me a life, give me a life! Dang. I always, like, make it really close to one. Ah, I'm Kirby. Alright, boss turn. Oh, crap, it's Cracko in little form. Well, now I have the high jump power. So you have to beat him to the top. Or, like, he'll keep erasing the clouds from under you. But, as you can see, I'm, like, staying, like, 30 steps away from him. I mean, in front of him. Come back to me, my star. Freaking high jump power. They keep giving me them, but even though I already have them. These guys don't even use the high jump ability themselves. They just jump in the air and like float for a second. They don't high jump, they high glide. They fall with style. And in this game, he's pretty easy with the high jump power or the tornado power. The reason why it was so hard in the last game probably because we didn't have any good powers. What did I use to beat Cracko in like the la I mean in Dreamland 2 anyway? Did I use a specific po I think I used Rick. Oh well. I give somebody a free kudo point if you tell me who, did, what power and what friend did I use in Dreamland 2 to defeat Krakow. But, enough talk right now. We just killed Krakow! Awesome! Awesome! Oh, that was pretty easy. Oh well. Next time, we're on to the next world. So you guys know what to do. Write to me, subscribe to me, thank you, and goodnight.